Welcome to the how-to video on using the Autonomous Teacher Toolkit for lang music and language education in primary schools. This is the European Union Folk DC project. Now at the moment we're looking at the home page of the project and what I want to do in this how-to video is show you how to find the different elements of the Autonomous Teacher Toolkit on this website and what there is in that toolkit. So we're going to go a little bit fast because I don't want to keep you too long. Um, I'm going to move from this home page. The home page actually is going to be changed a little bit this week, uh, but you'll still recognize from the logo. And we're going to go over to the resources. This is where you're going to find the ATT. That's what we call it. And there's an introduction page here. And this shows you all the different elements and describes a little bit more what is in each part of the toolkit, going all the way down there. And then the next thing we'll find, have a look at, is the songs and the templates. Let's just go there. Now, in this project, we've actually collected together 20 folk songs of Europe in 10 different languages. Now, each song you'll see listed here with a template. And in the template, that's downloadable. The template includes the song in the native language and translated into English or another language and also the actual sound file. I'm going to show you which is the activity. So again, we go to resources, activities, and here you'll find the various activities. Now the activities are broken into three areas. There's language activities, and again, each of these has a template. They're only short that you can download and use uh, 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 to complete the activity with your children and with your class. There's cultural activities, these are a little bit different because the activity is here in the PDF. And then there's also additional materials, which include all the different graphics and ideas that we have to bring into that activity. It makes it very rich. Then there's the musical activities, and they're all listed here, and they very much use the music that we have. And just as an extra, we've actually even got breathing exercises here to prepare for singing and taking part in these activities. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the self-evaluation form. Now, we've got it listed twice, actually, as a link here in the self-evaluation page and also here at the top of this page. Now, this is very, very important for us as a project to understand how you've used these activities and the music. And even more important for us, if you find any new ideas to add to what we've got here. We'd be very happy to do so. I'm just going to let you have a very quick look at the form. We've got a Google form which is online only and we've also got a downloadable Word form that you can download, complete and then send back to the email address included on the form. So just have a quick look at the Google form. There it is and you can see it's very short. There's only actually six questions there so you'll be able to do that very quickly and that's very very helpful for us as I say. The Next thing I want to do is show you the wiki, the community wiki that we've made for the project. And I'll go to the home, I'll go to the English home for now. And you'll see we've actually got this translated into seven languages. And the idea of this is this is where you can put any photos or videos you make of your children doing the activities and especially singing the songs. We'd love to hear your children singing the songs that we provided. And we've actually got on each one of these different language sites, we've got a how to use this wiki, which again has got a couple of little videos showing you how you can upload onto this uh, wiki the songs that you've made and the images that you've done. It's very easy, but you do have to register on the site. Um, over here, you'll see we've got language pages, and each of these is the page where you can put up the video you've made or the images you've made of your school taking part in the uh, ATTT. If your uh, language is not here, please let us know and we will add it into the list. Um, that's it. So thank you very much for listening. We really look forward to your feedback and your use of the ATT. Um, thank you very much. Goodbye for now.